What's up, everybody? Mike Guyami, Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast, here to bring you my picks and predictions for MLS Action Week number 4, May 7th through May 9th. What a round of games we have coming up this week. Lots of big-time matchups, tough matchups to pick. Very good teams facing off against each other and very bad teams facing off against each other as well. So, guys, thanks for jumping on. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Smash that like button. Let's help this video continue to grow through the YouTube algorithm so that more people can make more money with Sons of a Pitch Soccer just like you and I. So uh, jump on it and hit that like button. All right, guys, let's get right into the games. The first matchup up on Friday night, May 7th. This one... Not expected to be a big-time matchup a couple weeks ago. Well, times have changed. Real Salt Lake hosting San Jose Earthquakes. Both teams coming off very strong victories last week. Real Salt Lake gets the win over Sporting Kansas City. A big-time victory over Sporting Kansas City. And then you've got San Jose, who just put a beating on D.C. United in San Jose. So two teams coming on a big-time high from their last results. This is a very tough one to pick for me. Um, But looking at the odds in this one, the odds are Real Salt Lake comes in at minus 106, San Jose at plus 255, and the draw comes in at plus 290. Really hard to differentiate these two teams, but I got to go with the home team here with fans in the building. I got to go Real Salt Lake to continue on and see David Ochoa kick another ball up into the stands even though I don't like it. Um, My pick, RSL, to get the victory at minus 106. Moving into Saturday's games, Chicago Fire hosting the Philadelphia Union. Chicago Fire not playing good soccer right now at all. Rafael Wicke looks to be on the hot seat and might be gone by the end of May if he can't turn things around. They come in at plus 115. The Philadelphia Union come in at plus 225. The Union, having lost two straight games on at home in MLS play. Now, again, they are playing in CONCACAF Champions League. That does put a different spin into things. They played at Atlanta and got a big-time victory, 3-0 there last Tuesday. Now, this Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember which day it is, they are playing again to finish off that tie. Uh, so they're going to have that midweek game in the CONCACAF Champions League. They're going to be without El Brujo Martinez, the central defensive midfielder who picked up a red card against New York City. So it's going to be, I see why Philly's coming in at the plus 225 odds, the draw at plus 265. But for me, I got to go with Philadelphia over Chicago. Chicago is a complete tire fire right now. I am going with the Union as my pick, plus 225 to get the victory on the road. All right, next game, Toronto FC visiting New York Red Bulls. Chris Armas makes a homecoming at Red Bull Arena. The Red Bulls come in at plus 110, TFC at a plus 245, and a tie at plus 260. Both teams being positive in the odds. The Red Bulls, not the best results lately, uh, but they're doing okay. They haven't lit the world on fire, but doing all right. TFC, on the other hand, looks like complete and utter garbage in their last few matchups. They are at time of recording. I am recording this on May 3rd, Monday, May 3rd. Uh, Toronto FC still has a game against Cruz Azul, which we will be live for against Cruz Azul, that second leg. Toronto FC trying to pull off a miracle there, so make sure you join us for that live stream reaction on Tuesday night. Um, TFC at plus 245, I kind of flirt with taking those odds, but overall, Red Bulls at a plus 110, I got to go with the Red Bulls to get the victory. They just came off the victory off Chicago Fire. My pick, Red Bulls to win at plus 110 over TFC. All right, guys, so that's the first three games. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. If you're a soccer fan, an MLS fan, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome American soccer content, whether it's picks and predictions, regular podcast episodes, or live stream reaction watch-alongs and hangouts. All right, next up, Nashville SC hosting New England Revolution. Wow, New England Revolution looking good. Beat Atlanta 2-1 last week. Nashville comes off a disheartening draw against their expansion brethren, Miami. Nashville comes in at a plus 140. New England Revolution at a plus 185. And the draw comes in at plus 260. Now, Nashville... 
Man, I mean, Nashville is uh, just, you don't know what you're going to get from this team. They've got a good team on paper. A lot of draws to start the season, which has got to be really frustrating for them. They're playing the top team in the Eastern Conference right now in the New England Revolution. That's going to be a tough one to tough one to pick. Uh, if this game was in New England, I'm guaranteed on New England to get the victory. The fact that it's in Nashville makes me pause a little bit but and, and kind of look at the tie. But overall, Nashville... What they, what they did against Miami, with Miami without the Iguain brothers, as well as missing a couple other pieces, I can't pick Nashville in this one. My pick is New England Revolution at plus 185 on the road. Great odds for the best team in the Eastern Conference to get the victory on the road. Uh, plus 185 is my pick for New England. Columbus Crew hosting D.C. United. What a swing of odds in this one. Columbus Crew comes in at minus 177. DC comes in at a plus 515. And the draw comes in at plus 300. The Crew not looking great so far. Haven't scored. Not looking the best team that they uh, were expected to be. But man, DC is looking rough. After their opening weekend victory, they have failed to do so again. And uh, it's tough. With with Col- with Columbus, I've got to go with Columbus at home at the minus 177 odds. That's my pick over DC United. Vancouver Whitecaps and CF Montreal from Rio Tinto Stadium in Utah. Vancouver Whitecaps come off a very disappointing loss to the Colorado Rapids last week. Montreal, on the other hand, they continue to get results. A draw on the road at Nashville, then a draw against the reigning MLS Cup champion Columbus Crew. Montreal seems to be getting some results here, and I'm surprised that it's actually lasted as long as it has. The odds in this one, plus 185 for Vancouver, plus 135 for Montreal, and the draw comes in at plus 265. Uh, This one is a hard one to pick. The Canadian rivals always play tight when they play each other, but I've got to go with Montreal in this one. At plus 135 odds, another road victory for me. Uh, That's kind of the way they seem to be hashing out this week um, in my picks and predictions. But CF Montreal, I predict them to get the job done. They're my pick over Vancouver at plus 135 odds. FC Dallas and the Houston Dynamo, the Battle of Texas. Minus Austin, now that Austin's in the league. This isn't strictly for Texas bragging rights, but uh, Dallas at home at minus 118. Houston Dynamo at plus 300. The draw comes in at plus 285. FC Dallas with a rousing victory over Portland Timbers last week, 4-1. Houston, on the other hand, a good result, getting the draw against LAFC at home. Dallas being at home, though, I don't know. I got to go with Dallas in this one at minus 118. My pick, FC Dallas, to get the victory. If they can beat a team like Portland, they can beat a team like Houston, especially at home, playing the way they they have at their home stadium, Toyota Park. So that's my pick there. All right, guys, check out that join button down below. We have memberships here on Sons of a Pitch Soccer Podcast. It is a huge, huge support to us at SOP Soccer, as well as some awesome perks for you, the viewers. $1.99, the starter level, gives your name featured in the scroll that you see below me. Loyalty badges and custom emojis for $4.99 is the designated player level. You get all those starters perks, plus one members-only live stream reaction watch-along per month which you get to vote on which game you want to see. Discounted merchandise and your name in the description. We also just added a $9.99 All-Star level, which gives you all of the designated player perks, plus access to one betting video per week. This is what you guys who are watching Picks and Predictions, I'm sure, are very interested in. So I've had a lot of uh, lot of interest in the over-unders as well as prop bets. So I'll be putting out... One video per week, strictly for all-star members at the $9.99 per month level, giving you my picks for over-unders for each match, as well as one prop bet in each match that I'll be putting money on. So check out that join button down below. Join as an all-star today and get more access and win some more money with Sons of a Pitch Soccer Podcast. All right, to Orlando City and New York City FC, a rematch of the unbelievable playoff matchup down in Orlando. Orlando comes in at a plus 140, New York City at plus 175, and the draw at plus 275. 
man, these two teams are playing some good soccer right now. Orlando City and New York City, not much to put between them. And seeing how they've played each other in the past, it's going to be a tough one to pick a winner for. So my pick in this one is the draw at plus 275. If this game was in New York, I think I would give the edge to NYCFC. However, being that it's in Orlando, I'm going with the draw at plus 275. Next up, the game that we will be live for next Saturday night on May 8th, LA Galaxy against LAFC, the El Trafico from Carson, California. We'll be live. Make sure you come and hang out for that one. LA Galaxy's odds come in at plus 220. LAFC at plus 120. The draw comes in at plus 255. LA Galaxy coming off a very disheartening performance against Seattle last week, which we were live for that one as well. Um, And LAFC, not the worst result in the world. When you get a point on the road, it's not the end of the world, but they expected to do better. I picked LAFC to do better as well. Uh, And then the tie at plus 255 is very, very enticing. However, looking at this one, I can't go with the Galaxy after what the performance that they put in, albeit at the Sounders house, which is a very tough place to play. I've got to go with LAFC in this one to get the victory. Uh, Diego Rossi is back. Carlos Vela might be back in this one as well, although it's still early. Again, it's only Monday at the time of recording, so we don't know for sure. But my pick is LAFC to get the victory at plus 120 odds in the El Trafico. All right, guys, moving right along this game as well. The last, or nope, there's, uh, yeah, the last game on Saturday the 8th, the Colorado Rapids hosting Minnesota United FC. The odds are Colorado at minus 107, Minnesota at plus 255, and the draw comes in at plus 300. Now, Colorado gets the victory, surprising victory over Vancouver at Vancouver, well, at Real Salt Lake Stadium because Vancouver can't play a home game. Uh, But Colorado... With the one nothing victory over Vancouver, Minnesota looks like complete trash right now. Not playing well, losing to Austin FC last week, losing the week before that to Real Salt Lake. Uh, Minnesota is down in the dumps, that's for sure. But they've got to come out of it eventually. And here's an opportunity, I think, at those type of odds at plus 255, I can see them getting the victory over the Rapids in Colorado when, hey, you know what? Minnesota played at Austin to a one nothing loss. And Colorado lost to Austin 3-1 to in Colorado. So for me, I'm going, my pick, I'm, I'm, I'm picking for Minnesota to get out of their slump. My pick is Minnesota United to win at plus 255. Reynoso, he picked up a slight knock last week. He should be back, though, for this one. If that changes, that might change the pick a little bit. But I expect Minnesota to finally get off, off the schneid and get the victory at plus 255. All right, Inter-Miami hosting Atlanta United. Two teams that uh, are not playing extremely well at the moment. Inter Miami with a decent result against Nashville on Sunday last week. They play this Sunday the 9th at noon Central Standard Time. Miami, the Iguain brothers should be back. They had to quarantine due to the death of their mother. uh, And they went went away for the funeral. Uh, But they should be back for this one. And Atlanta United just not playing good soccer at all right now. Coming off the loss against the New England Revolution 2-1 but they honestly didn't even deserve that one goal. Atlanta not looking strong right now. Inter Miami not looking as good as they should be either. Odds come in at minus 106 for Inter Miami, plus 300 for Atlanta, and the tie comes in at plus 250. I had a very, very hard time separating these two. The only only difference that I have um, and why my pick is Inter Miami to win is that Inter Miami will be at home and Atlanta United is playing midweek at Philadelphia in the CONCACAF Champions League. So um, that's my pick, Inter Miami, to get the victory over Atlanta United. But I do expect Atlanta United to start to come together a little bit better, um, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, because I see that team being a very good team. They just need to put it all together under their new coach, Gabriel Heinze. My pick, though, Inter Miami at minus 106. All right, two games left in this one. If you haven't hit that like button yet, smash that like button down below. We need your help to continue to grow here at Sons of a Pitch Soccer Podcast. Portland Timbers, plus 185. Seattle Sounders, plus 140. And the draw comes in at plus 260 in this Cascadia matchup. A 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, a noon kickoff in Portland. 
Man, what a matchup we'll have here. Portland coming off a midweek game against Club America, the second leg traveling down to Azteca. Seattle just coming off that big-time victory over the LA Galaxy 2-0. Could have been more, honestly. Uh, this one is a very tough matchup to pick. Again, if this game was in Seattle, it would be an easy pick, Seattle. Because it's in Portland, it kind of switches things up again and makes it hard to bet. Honestly, if there was a week that I wanted to take off from betting my $50 per game, it would probably be this week because all these matchups are so damn tough. But uh, I'm not taking any weeks off, and I don't expect you to either. Portland Timbers coming back from Azteca just seems to be too much for me. I got to go with the Sounders as my pick at plus 140. Anytime you can pick the Sounders to make money as a dog, I think you got to go with it, especially with a Portland team that's going to be in a big-time fight down in Azteca uh, since they're draw they're tied 1-1 heading into that second leg, even though by the time you're watching it, it might be over by now. Um, but, oh, Seattle Sounders, my pick to get the victory over Portland in the Cascadia rivalry, plus 140 odds. Last game of the week on Sunday the 9th, at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, Sporting Kansas City hosting Austin FC. Sporting Kansas City comes in at a minus 118, Austin at plus 300, and a tie at plus 285. Austin FC has won me a ton of money over the last two weeks. I picked them to beat Colorado. They did. I picked them to beat Minnesota. They did. They have won me some money, and hopefully you guys as well. Um, Sporting Kansas City, tough to beat at home, but it can be done. I have to ride this Austin FC train as long as I can. If they're going to continue to get these type of uh, disrespectful odds against the Sporting KC team who just got whooped up by RSL, um, I've got to go with Austin FC. My pick in this one, I'm riding the Austin FC train until they prove me wrong. And who knows? Sporting Kansas City is a decent team that hasn't been playing up to snuff. Maybe they get the victory. But my pick, Austin FC at plus 300. Huge, huge odds to get the victory there. So there you have it. There's my picks and predictions for week number four in MLS play. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you guys check out the join options below. If you're a big time sports better, go check out that all-star option. I'll be launching my first all-star video on Thursday this week and uh, Thursday or Friday, depending. And then, uh, Guys, we got lots of awesome soccer ahead of us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and we will see you all in the next time, the next episode of Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast. Good luck with your bets this week, everybody.